movie, of course, is called The Obama Effect. Yes. It's getting great reviews. Congratulations I love, yay, on that. Yay, I'm so happy about um, that. But personally speaking, as an African American, how would you say The Obama Effect has been on you personally? Well, let me say this first. Let me start with say this. The movie was done. I'm going to bring this all around okay. for you. The movie was done four years ago. And we did it right after the first inauguration. I'm saying oh, wow. first because I believe there's going to be a second. We did it after the first. And because there was some rewrites and whatever, it had to do some reshoots, whatever. But see, there's no mistakes in life. It was purposefully in the universe that we didn't know. It was, that wasn't the time for it to be released. It could have been released about three years ago, but that wasn't the time. It's more important now, I feel, that this movie is released for a multitude of reasons than it was maybe three years ago. I think now that this will be a good movie for people. I'm going to say the African American community in, in particular, but I hope anybody who was an Obama supporter, you know, in particular, uh, will get a chance to reconnect with what made you feel good about supporting him then? What, what did you feel we all needed as a country then? Because we're, we're kind of still in the same thing, you know, and for me, I think four years is not enough. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at a man who inherited a mess, I mean, come on, we can give George Bush eight years, y'all. <laughs> Come on now, come on. But you know, when you, when you look at what he inherited, you've got to let, let somebody finish it out. And I don't think that that we are as bad as people say. And to be honest with you, I really kind of think no matter who would have been president these four years, it really wouldn't be much different than it was four years before. So whoever that person was in that chair, we get to say it's your fault. It, it wouldn't be that much different if there was a Republican in office right now. I really don't think so because it's, it's, it's just the t sign of the time. Things are going through change, and things, change takes a while. It, you know, nothing happens overnight. The mess wasn't created overnight. It can't get cleaned up overnight. So I think the movie coming out right now is really very important because hopefully it will give everybody a chance to reconnect with a lot of things, their own personal thoughts and beliefs, to share, um, you know, to really look at the other side, to remember what was it then that worked for you, and and find the good that worked, that did work for you the last four years. Nothing's perfect. You know, he's not perfect, he's not God. But look at the things that did work. And this is one of the things that is my pet peeve about what's going on, and I don't have a problem saying this. You know, I'm really sick of a lot of, a lot of our black ministers who are, or any minister, but our black minister in, in particular, who are condemning our president because of his opinion. It's not a law, his opinion of same-sex marriage. You know, you didn't write the Bible. You're not the, the, the cheerleader for, for God, even though you think you are, because God loves everybody. So I, I'm really sick of people, like, feeling like, oh, I'm not going to vote for you just because you believe in same-sex marriage. O okay. O really? Mm -hmm. Really. You can't take that one aspect out of somebody's whole agenda because that's their personal opinion. Right. And look at everything else. Really? Are you that, you're that shallow? You're that ignorant. So this is really something that's getting on my nerves. It's like, y'all cut it. You know, well, I don't like cigarette smoke. So do I think everybody who smokes cigarettes should be put in a, in a, a cage? That's my personal opinion. But you get to smoke a cigarette if you want to. You get to think, and you don't even have to smoke, and you can say, well, I think it's okay. So I'm just saying, let's learn how to take the important things away from the not so important things. And believe in the same sex marriage, whether you do or not, is not enough to break a country. Come on. <laughs> now, I'm not a pastor, but can I say amen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> amen, I sister. Personally, I personally support same-sex marriage. Let everybody be miserably married. <laughs>